What's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna make it a very short one. We're gonna show you how to automatically mirror images uh, for your Epson printer. Uh, this is going on the assumption that you have the Epson printer drivers installed and all of that set up correctly. So if you don't, um, if you don't see any printer options, you probably don't have the Epson drivers installed correctly. So we'll go ahead and print from Photoshop and I'll go over my settings with you. Um, usually I do the printer manages colors. It, does, it has a pretty good built-in profile that works pretty good. Um, you, of course, your paper size, all that good stuff. Under print settings, uh, see there's your document size. Uh, usually, just I usually do eight and a half by eleven, eleven by seventeen, or thirteen by nineteen. Um, usually, I do premium presentation matte, a uh, high quality, and see all all the uh, all the uh, and that's just the paper settings. For for a better video on paper settings, uh, we'll go ahead and drop this one right up here. And that explains all the various paper settings and what they do and what you can do if you're having problems. Uh, overall, it's a great video. You should definitely check it out. Um, a lot of stuff's under more options. Um, you'll see like the image options. Uh, let's see, not image options, custom. Um, I usually do it uh, the ICM uh, color management system. Um, let's see, I always turn high speed off. If you don't turn high speed off, uh, the quality seems to suffer. And this is what you really want. You want to go ahead and mirror the image. And that'll, that, what that'll do, that'll completely flip the image over um, automatically, and you won't have to do it in Photoshop. So then you can hit OK, and then you can go ahead and print your design, and you should be good to go. Um, but guys, overall, uh, I hope this is a very helpful video. It's a very short one, I know. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, feel free to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future content. Um, I should be dropping the Sublimation app soon, and also you can subscribe to my mailing list down below. Um, I usually do mail out coupons, things like that for sublimation stuff that you probably would have bought anyway. And overall, it's just a good resource. Um, so guys, I appreciate it and y'all have a good day.